Hey everyone, welcome to Horrible Gaming. My name is Nora and on today's video we are working more on my vintage castle city island. Today's video is actually a continuation of my last live stream. If you want to go check that out, I will have it linked in the video's description. But today we're basically just finishing up the raised highway styled build and I really wanted to do some sort of a cozy boat port and today's video is the final results of that. I've also been documenting from start to finish the whole entire build process of this island. So if you're new to my channel and kind of want to see where this island started, I highly recommend checking out the other videos. It will be all the ones that are labeled Vintage City. I want to say that the island is roughly 60% done. We still have a ways to go decor wise, but I'm pretty impressed with how much progress we have made in the last couple of days. If you're new to my channel, I wing all of my builds. This is just me building and going with the flow. But if you have some ideas for this island and you want to see me create them on here, feel free to leave me a comment. I'm always checking them and the feedback really does help since this island theme is very out of my comfort zone. As we also get today's video started, I just want to disclaim that this is two days of footage compressed into a 10 minute video. So there will be sadly a ton of transitions, but I made sure to do most of the transitions when I was like decorating or changing my mind. So you'll definitely be able to see how the main structure of the whole entire build was done. But just keep in mind, there will be quite a bit of these in the video today. So even though I made a ton of progress on today's video, I still have no idea what I'm doing, where the bridge is, which you'll see that later on in the video. But I I have a lot of transitions that still need to plan out so hopefully by next video I will have all that done for y'all to see kind of how I filled in the area so I feel like that's the only location on today's build that I'm unhappy with just because obviously I was running out of space we were at the edge of my map but I do think the bridge was a really pretty addition to the build so if you have more space than I do and you're recreating this I would definitely recommend keeping it just because I feel like it's a really nice detail if I do end up removing it I'm thinking about keeping the waterfalls and just like framing and hiding the terraform with some castle gates. So by next video, y'all will definitely see what the final decision was or if I was able to make this location work. I just didn't like how cozy it was starting to get with that bridge. But anyways, I hope that today's video is gonna bring you a ton of inspiration. Several of you have mentioned that you are doing this theme. So again, if y'all have any ideas or are struggling with a build idea, definitely let me know in the comments section because I still have a lot of space left for different shops and different little cafes that we can build. I definitely want this island to have a nice fish market. I really want to do a seafood cafe and a coffee shop and definitely some boutiques. So I have a ton of ideas. So let's just hope that I'm actually able to fit all of them onto this island because if you're one of my regular followers, you know I'm constantly running out of space. I swear I wish our maps were like 10 times bigger. That way I could get all of my ideas out onto one island build. And honestly, that's the why I'm constantly redoing certain themes just because I'm running out of space on each map and island that I create. I also wanted to let y'all know that every Every single code I am using on this island will be found in the video's description so make sure you scroll to the very bottom to get access to every single code that we are using today. So you're not going to see this right now, but the square water spot right by the waterfall, that's actually going to be filled in with four more solid tiles later on in the video. I changed my mind so many times in this location, but I ended up feeling pretty happy with it at the end result. So I hope that y'all ended up liking it too. Before we end up decorating more of the boat port, I'm just going to fill in with some terraform and locations that are needed. We're not going to actually decorate this area that you're seeing right now on today's video, just because again, I have no idea what we're doing over here. I was thinking maybe we could do something like over overlooking the ocean but maybe if I'm lucky enough we could do some sort of like a little cafe I honestly don't know how much space I have until I start building but if y'all have any ideas for this location definitely let me know in the comment section below because I'm totally stumped on this area so before we get back to decorating I'm just gonna fill in this uh, spot with some custom design code the path is already in the video's description and this is actually where I'm gonna be doing the bike parking spot that I talked about earlier in the video I just thought it was a really cute filler for this location Location on the map eventually this location is gonna transition to some more road design so like our actual city like roads but I really wanted this area to just be more of like locations where cars wouldn't really have access to do kind of like the middle of the city so I'm really hoping that we have accomplished that vibe in this location on my map 
I'm pretty happy with how the raised walkway ended up turning out where you have the boats kind of like passing through underneath, but I feel like it's missing some minor details. So if y'all have any decoration ideas and how to kind of like make this feel a little bit more finished, please definitely let me know in the comments. That's like the only area where I feel like needs a little bit more detail. Anyways, we're working on this really awkward two squared spot right by where the water coat is. And I'm honestly just gonna fill this in with greenery. It really will add a really nice lush effect to the build. So I'm just gonna fill in with wood partition and different greenery items, and then we'll start focusing on the actual dock area. So I'm thinking eventually towards the left side of this build after we get all the storefront exterior place, that's gonna transition into some medieval walls and castle items and actually be maybe the seafood cafe and fish market. So let me know if you think that would be a really good location for that. I just think it would be a really nice transition from the dock area. I think that's also where I'm gonna start introducing the city core like roads again, since I've only used them near the entry and then they transitioned over to our bakery. But I definitely need to start using more of that road code and kind of like transition it back towards the entry as well. So again, hopefully next video or live stream, y'all will kind of see how that ended up looking. I'm also speaking of live streaming, I'm gonna be streaming again this weekend and it's probably gonna be this island so we can kind of work towards getting the dream address ready for it. But I just wanted to quickly let y'all know that I am returning to my twice a week stream schedule. I don't really have a set date uh, schedule quite yet just because I'm still trying to figure out what my time management will allow. But last year I really regretted not streaming that much. I just had poor time management and let mental health get the best of me. So y'all can rest assured to know that I'm gonna stream twice a week on my channel. Since I don't have a main schedule quite yet, just make sure you have your notifications turned on. If you are in my Discord server, I always ping the stream role as well there and I always make a post on my Instagram too and Twitter account you can find all of my other socials linked in the video's description anyways back to the build this is where I'm gonna be starting my boat dock area and actually you will not be able to access this on the dream address I just kind of made it more of a lookout point but don't worry I'll have plenty other boat locations you will be able to access and take a better look at I did however make sure to place an incline here just because I thought it was a really nice touch to the build but I wanted y'all to be able to access where the water is to kind of take a better look at the decor and item placement since I know that sometimes when I go to a dream address when certain locations are blocked off and just for viewing reasons. I wish I could get a closer look at them sometimes. So for this build, I made sure to allow some sort of a access point where y'all can see things a little bit closer. So now that we have finished the main decor on the docks, I'm just gonna remove the excess terraform and then fill in with some more storefront items. The other side of the boat docks is actually gonna be unfinished because that's where I'm thinking I'm gonna do our seafood cafe and fish market. I just think that would be such a pretty location for that type of build. So before we work on some more decorating, I'm gonna go ahead and just fill in a couple of areas right here with some trees and greenery. And then we're gonna add some more tiles over here to kind of prep out the incline location that you'll see next video. And then we'll start decorating our little bike parking lot in this little viewpoint location. I have some big weird spaces below where we're working and I'm thinking I might just fill that area in with like a couple of villager homes. I'm not quite sure what else to do. Originally I was going to start adding some more road code design below there but I honestly have no idea what to expect until I start building and decorating so hopefully by next video you will see kind of the finished product uh, in that weird empty location below us. Anyways before today's video ends we're going to do a quick walkthrough of everything we did today. I cannot believe how much decorating we got done. I'm very happy with how this whole entire location turned out. I do think I am going to improve some of the uh, decor on the raised walkway and then like that little small spot where the incline is that's entering where the water code is. But overall, I'm really excited with how this island is turning out. I think it's been such a difficult theme. This is definitely a theme that is out of my comfort zone. I normally do not focus on cottage core or vintage like islands. I just feel like those themes are very difficult to do and I always admire them so I really wanted to finally test out the theme and commit to it and so far it has been one of the most enjoyable islands that I have created in a long time. I have been having so much fun so I hope that y'all are getting a ton of inspiration from this island too and have been enjoying the build process with me. Anyways that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and have a horrible day. I'll see you next video.